Okay, today we're going to be doing another arrow video about noise. The last video I did showed four arrows of different weights flying from 40 and 60 yards and we were listening for the sound they made as they were approaching the target. There were a lot of comments and suggestions that came out of that video that made me want to do this again. The reason is twofold. One, I want to set up a microphone that's about 20 yards away from the target. I'm going to shoot at 40 yards and I'm going to shoot at 60 yards. And we're going to hear the arrow fly past the microphone before it hits the target. I'm also going to have another camera and microphone at the target to record the impact. Now, again, like the last video, this is not going to be for accuracy because these arrows are of all different weights and I am not changing my sight for every shot. So you're going to hear the arrow whiz past. In a second I'm going to turn the camera around. You'll be pointed at this lovely gate that I have that separates the two horse paddocks that I have here. You'll hear the arrow approaching. You may see a glimpse of it passing by and you'll hear it as it goes and impacts the target. An added feature to this video that I didn't do on the last one is we will be shooting all four of these with broadheads with a fixed blade single bevel crimson talon croc broadhead. This is what I'm going to be hunting with. I'm using the same broadhead on all of these arrows so you can hear what it sounds like authentically with a broadhead on. Okay so we're going to do that. Again this is not scientific this is for fun. A number of people such as myself find this interesting. It's always nice to learn about these things prior to hunting whether you may want to change your setup or not. So going through the lineup the first arrow is going to be an Easton carbon ion. This is 382 grains. The second arrow will be an RIP gamer arrow 407 grains. It is a four fletch. Next it's an Easton Sonic 6.0 high velocity. This is going to be my hunting arrow for this year. This is 548 grains. It's got a light knock on the end and it is fletched with AAE Max Stealth veins. This arrow as well as the four fletch and the last arrow which is an Easton Axis 5 millimeter also has AAE Max Stealth veins. Again, this video I'm using with what I have. I'm not doing a hundred different arrow shafts with a hundred different fletchings with a hundred different knocks with everything else and different broadheads. No, I'm doing what I have. Take it or leave it. This is what I've got. So we're going to see what we find, what the results are with these. So again, you won't be seeing me shooting. I will be pointing the camera 20 yards. The arrows will be traveling past the camera into the target, you'll hear them approach, you'll see them pass, and you'll hear them again prior to them hitting the target. Okay? Good. So, first up will be the 382 grain carbon ion. I'll be shooting all these arrows out of my Prime Nexus 4, set at 70 pounds and 30 inch draw. Here we go. All right, moving back to 60. Oh. 
So last night when I was doing this, we had a bit of an issue. Uh, the 407 grain arrow flew right over the target into the cornfield. I tried looking for it last night. It was getting dark, couldn't find it. I'm going back out there to find it now so we can resume. It's nobody wants to have a razor sharp broadhead and an arrow stuck in a cornfield. All right, um, so let's go get it. All right, needle in a haystack, here we go. This isn't the one I shot last night. Oh my God, cool. Landed perfectly. Recovered. All right, there you have it. Pretty cool experiment. I think this video turned out better than the last one, just in the fact that the camera was 20 yards from the target. The arrows had broadheads on them. So you're getting a better overall conclusion as to what the arrows sound like in flight, as opposed to just approaching and hitting the target, even though I did include that as well. Everybody likes seeing an arrow hit a target. Um, but in terms of the noise of the different weighted arrows, it's always nice to hear it when the camera is a little bit farther back so you can actually hear what it sounds like as it's flying through the air so we did that here hopefully this helps you it's really uh, cool doing videos like this again I'm not an expert I never claim to be this is just something that I enjoy doing and sharing what I learned from experiments and days like this again accuracy for this video don't be looking at that because these are all different weighted arrows and my bow was sighted in for the 548 grain uh, Easton Sonic 6.0s. They shot well. The other ones were kind of all over the place due to their weights. I had to aim in different spots. So this is about the noise, not about the accuracy. If you have any comments about what you're shooting or you want to talk about anything from this video, please mention them below. I always like uh, back and forth communication with everybody, so that's great. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this, and we'll see you on the next one.